Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Life with Lo. Thanks so much for coming by. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lola and I am a mother of twin boys and I love to do motherhood, lifestyle, and motivational videos. If you're into that, please click that subscribe button and be part of my family. So in today's video, I am going, it was highly requested for quite some time. Um, when I posted a video on how to make money as a stay-at-home mom, I got a lot of DMs on uh, on how to sell on Mercari. So I'm going to show you how that's done. It's super simple. You guys are going to love this app. So if you're interested in finding out, keep on watching. Okay, you guys, I know a lot of people have a phone. A lot of people have old things they don't want, like this dog bowl or anything um rings clothes there's just so many things that you don't want anymore so i am going to sh tell you guys how you can make money just by selling your old stuff it's amazing so um a couple things that you need of course you need a phone you need the app mercari i'll post it right over here the app mercari and you need like a nice little area because a nice little area will make your picture pop you make your picture look nice and clean so you definitely need that and also um make sure your item is not like dirty or has like you know just nasty stuff around it so make sure you do like a 360 look at it and see if it's good enough to sell so i'm going to show you um right now all the steps that I do so you could um, be successful with selling in Macquarie. I've been getting, um, I've been selling a lot, so which is a good thing because everybody's in quarantine. So they're like, I need to shop. So I'm so glad that's helping me out. So um, yeah, let's get this started. So what you need first, you need to find a cute little area so you could put your props on it. So you could do it like this. Or you can even you can even take this out and just put the item you want to sell in a nice little area, make it look cute like this. And then you take your phone, you take your phone, and you just take a couple pictures and then close up. And then at the top, so the seller could, I mean, the buyer could see what, what they're buying, you know, go on the side, just like that. Another thing that's very important um, is if there's any dings or dents on the item to make sure to, to definitely take a picture um, like this one is already done so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn it like this so people know it's ray done so they don't think it's a fake one or anything like that and then of course you go and you take a picture of that item of that is go on my phone and then I go on the app Macari. And then when you open it, you hit the button right there at the bottom where it says sell. And then right here, you get to upload all your pictures. And then you go to the library. And then you upload all your pictures that you have. Just like that. And then use. And then you upload all the pictures. And then over here, you just put um, what are you selling. Then what you do, you just put Ray done dog canister and then you press done and then right here you put I usually do the same thing Ray done dog whoops dog canister like new and that's pretty much it and then right here you do three tags and the tags you're going to put is what goes with it, which is Ray Dunn, dog, I can't spell today, dog, and canister. 
okay and then category usually it comes up here real quick for you then you press that and then brand usually comes up for you too then you do ray done and then condition i always pull like new because it is like like new and then you do all this yourself you could do free shipping you could do free shipping or you could um say no so the buyer is gonna buy um, the shipping and then over here it's really easy you click here and then you do how much that weighs and then you you do all your measurements here of the box the box that you're going to be using so let's say my box is let's just do 12 12 by 6 whoops by 6 okay and then you measure your box and this is the the box and then you put calculate shipping and then it will show you here three different types of shipping that you could use ups fedex or i'm sorry post office um fedex or ups usually the the best deal is um always in the first one so you just click on that and then you press save and then uh, you what you could do you could list it oh no i'm sorry then the price and then at the bottom right here you could see something similar to it so you could do like like 18 dollars and then put next and then i gotta do is just press list and it's there and then you go to your all your listings and you see it it's there all the pictures that we took so the customers could see it and all the information that you put down and that is and now when you get a notification that someone bought your item you will have it right here so I have a customer that bought the item and she chose the FedEx um, situation so all I gotta do is pretty much all i gotta do right now is pretty much just um wrap it up and then i'm going to just press um right here they're going to send you an email or you could just press recreate and they'll send you a, a, a label and press confirm when we are ready to ship it out so right now i am gonna be doing her package okay so right now you just sold your canister you're super excited you sold it but now we need to box it up safety because this is um this could break so you have to really take care of things that are breakable so um here are some boxes i have this one this one would not do good because when you wrap it up and everything and you put in here it is way too small you could see like the box is so that's not good so this box is a big no-no and then i have this box over here if you lay this here after it's all wrapped up it looks like it's good but it's already touching the box and you see it, it doesn't even close right and this is not good at all because it will definitely break even though you have like a million things around it so what my next thing is of course i have a bunch of diaper boxes you could definitely put in this diaper box if you don't have just a regular brown box like this you could get um a whatever box you know um i have this one i use things that i bought around the house this is perfect because look when you wrap it up and everything it's going to have enough room so it won't be dingly everywhere so this is perfect but we can't just mill it out like this or you technically can but what i like to do i like to wrap it with brown paper so after i'm done i'm going to show you guys how i wrap it with brown paper so it looks more nicely to go out and other things that you will need is i know you all shop at amazon 
So you probably get all these goodies. You're gonna need lots of bubble wrap. And I have this too. I'll post a link on the things that I have um, under the description box. So you need a lot of bubble wrap. And then lots of old newspaper. I have so many. You can tell how old they are because they're like brown now. And lots of old newspaper. So let's get this started. I'm going to show you how I wrap this baby boy up. Another item that is very important when you do start selling online, on Mercari, Posh, wherever, um, you need some type of like scale to weigh your items so you have the right um the right um weight when you punch it in for um for the delivery or you know because it all depends on how much you weigh how much the 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 shipping is gonna be so this one i'll post it below um is a very good i've been having this for six years now it will show you how much it weighs and it's amazing also another item that is very very good to have is um the sticker that says fragile on it and i have a whole roll um i'll post the link below where you guys could find this um this fragile handle with care for things that is like fragile you want to put this in their box okay so another thing that i forgot to mention you are gonna need um some type of tape dispenser and a pair of scissors you might need it you might not but um just keep it with you just in case so the first thing i'm going to be wrapping is this so i am going to need some bubble wrap what i like to do first is just grab and put this over here is just grab this newspaper double layer like that Let's see if you guys can see it. lay like that and then i like to put like you see the inside is how long i like to pump it up and put some inside and then right here i just wrap it with my bubble wrap okay and I am going to just like that okay and then for the big one I like to stuff Like that. And then I'll grab another. This one I actually like to do a double layer. So I'm gonna do this first. Then I'm gonna go around one more time with another bubble wrap, just because it's it's glass and it could break. With another layer. Now you're done with this. What are you gonna do? You're gonna get your box. Okay, now you have your box here. What you're gonna do is do a bunch of paper, bunch of newspaper. And then you put this in here. And this in here. Just like that. And then keep putting more around it. I'm actually going to put some of this too, right there on the side, where the little gap is, and I'm going to put it on this little gap that we have here, 
and I'm gonna put more newspaper. To top it off with another one like this. Like that. Also, another thing that I like to do before I, I close it up, I have my own little, you know, shop with glow on um, thank you so I put this and I just write no left so I write that and then I stick it in the box and then with this you close your box so my box is done okay so now we have this box of diaper with your stuff inside what I do is I buy this at the dollar store it's just brown paper you're gonna need scissors and tape what I'm gonna do is do this and then wrap it like you're wrapping a birthday gift Okay, so now you are done with your box. Your box does not need to look cute at all. Like I put a lot of tape on it, so like if it, so it doesn't like come off or anything. So, so I have a lot of tape around it, just like that. And now we're gonna print the label and put it in the box and ship it out. So as you can see, this is the email that you will get. It will say congratulations, and you need to ship it out by June 4th, or, or you have three days to um to do it. So, and then all you got to do is press print, ship, and label, and the label is going to be there. This is how the FedEx shipping label will look like, and all you got to do is just print. So we have now our shipping label. I'm not going to show you the other side, but the shipping label is here. All I do, it's it's a long paper like this. All I do is I just I just fold it in half. I fold it in half. And the next important thing to do, because this one um, she paid for um, for the shipping, so it was 14 pounds. So I have my scale here and I have to double check. I have to double check to see if it weighs 14 pounds or less. So wait till the zero. Oh, we are so good. This is four pounds, six ounces. So I usually try to do the other way just in case. Still four pounds, six ounces. So that's why it's good to have this. So we have plenty of room to ship this baby out. So what I like to do now is I just like to get some tape. Okay, so we are almost done with this. Um, I put the shipping. Now I'm just gonna stick, I'm gonna stick the sticker. Are done. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now all you have to do is just go to a FedEx um, store and drop it off and always ask for the receipts no matter what just in case so you know where um, the tracking is going. So make sure you have the receipt when they ask you if you want the receipt or not. So make sure you always say yes. But that is it. I hope this was helpful. Um, hope you guys make lots of money. I'll post underneath um, the link for Mercari. And uh, if you join with me, we both get $10. So I think that's pretty awesome. And we get to spend it over there. So. I
Also, another thing is um, when the customer gets it, they'll have three days to, to look over to see how the item is and that's when they will rate you and, and then later that's how you get your money for your order. But um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, for more motherhood, lifestyle, and motivation videos. Thanks so much, guys. And if you have any questions, please comment below. I'm here to help. Bye.